In this video, you will learn how to generate this Pareto chart in Microsoft Excel. I have generated this Pareto chart using this set of data. It is the data about the food products complaints. First column shows the nature of complaint, while second column shows the count of that particular complaints. For example, tasteless complaints are 140. And at the bottom, I have calculated the sum of all these complaints. Additionally, you can see here, I have generated two, two separate columns. First one is the cumulative and second one is the cumulative percentage. You don't need to calculate these values because Excel will automatically calculate these values. I have just calculated these values for explanation purpose. If you look at this graph, you can see here there are three axes. One is the X axis which shows the nature of complaints which is given here. And while first Y axis shows the number of complaints which is shown in this column while there is another y-axis which shows the cumulative percentage. So if you look at this uh, table, you can see here the, this column shows the cumulative, which means it is the sum of previous values. For example, if you look here, it is the 365. It is the sum of these three values, which is the first three nature of complaints, 140, 120 plus 105. Their sum is 365. Similarly, if you check here, it is the sum of all these from 140 to 60. Similarly, uh, you can see here it shows the cumulative percentage. For example, the tasteless uh, type complaints total contribution is 22.4%. And here you can see here it is the total percentage of first two complaints. For example, tasteless and not fresh contributes 41% complaints. Similarly, uh, if you go to here, you can see here uh, there are these four complaints tasteless, not fresh, labeling issue, and our, our, our priced combinedly contribute about 72.8% of complaints. Similarly, if you go to this graph, this line shows the cumulative percentage. For example, uh, here you can see here that about 1, 2, 3, 4, these four issues contribute 72%. 1, 2, 3, 4 and here you can see here it's it is showing that it contribute about 72 percent. So by drawing Pareto chart you can on the one end you can uh, get the data about the count of complaints and on the other end you can get the data about the cumulative percentage. Uh, the, secondly you can see here I have uh, arranged these in larger to smaller and you don't need to arrange these one because excel will automatically do all these tasks so let's start this tutorial in a separate sheet you can see here i have already entered the data you can see here i don't cal calculate any values for cumulative or cumulative percentage because it is the task of excel you just select this data you can see here i have not selected the sum data because it shows the sum of these complaints so i have just only selected the co complaint type and count go to insert tab and here you will find the option of Pareto chart. It is the insert statistic chart. Click here and here is the option of Pareto chart. Click here. Now I will resize it for your convenience. After doing that, go to chart element option, which is the plus sign. Click here. And from here, I will select axis titles and I want to insert data labels. So I will also check this option and I want to remove grid lines. So I will uncheck this option. After doing that, I will edit the chart titles and axis titles. Firstly, I will select chart title. Click again and it shows the food product complaint secondly you can select this title and format it according to your desire go to home tab bold 
you can change color and i will select 18 font size for this similarly i will select this y-axis and it shows the number of complaints you can select it and format it according to your desire i will bold it change its color to black and 12 font size similarly this shows the nature of complaint you can format it like this one i will not format it to save time similarly this one shows the cumulative percentage and you can also format it like this one now select these bars right click go to format data series option and go to fill and line option from here you can change the fill color for example if you want to change it to green simply select solid fill and from here you can choose green color similarly if you scroll down you will find the option of border select solid line select color i have selected black and from here you can adjust the width of these borders you can see here the borders are placed here around these bars similarly you can change the color of this line select this one right click go to format plot sorry it is plot area not line click on this line again now you can see a line is selected right click go to format preto lines and from here select solid line select any color for example i will select this purple and you can adjust the width of this line using this option so by doing that you can also adjust the line spacing I'm sorry not line spacing line width similarly go to these data labels and from home you can select either bold change their color now we will format these axes select this one and after selecting axes you can change their color bold them or change their font size and this is the same for all axes i will not repeat it for all axes to save time so you can uh, repeat similar procedure for other axes and if you further want to edit these axes right click go to format axis option and from here you can adjust the minimum and maximum value for example if i want to adjust uh, minimum value to 20 i will simply write it 20 and if i want to insert tick marks i will go here and i will insert tick marks on outside Similarly, you can go to fill and line option and you can insert a solid line with your desired color. I will select solid line and from here I will select black color and I will change the width to 1.5 pt. You can see here a solid line is inserted here. You can follow the similar procedure for other two axes and i have now repeated this to save time so we have completed the formatting of preto chart you can see here we have successfully generated preto chart and there is no need of any calculation so that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye